Hey everyone, it is Jordan Taylor Cut Films here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing how I edited uh, my most recent YouTube video called Isle of Gods. Um, this is a video edit that I made with my good friend Charlie Jordan in Hawaii, both Maui and Kauai. If you haven't seen the video, it is up on my channel, Taylor Cut Films. Right now I'm going to be diving into the edit, showing a couple of transitions that I did specifically for this video. Now one of my favorite things to do is time remapping or speed remapping and in the new Adobe Premiere Pro uh, it has been fully upgraded to the point where you can time remap and speed remap up to 20,000% now without having to nest your footage or make nested sequences which is amazing because it saves you a lot of steps and it really gives you full control over the pacing of your shots. So now I'm going to go into a couple of specific examples used within the edit here. Uh, for example, this shot here of these birds going into this next shot. It's nice to add a build, especially when you're shooting footage in slow motion. So most of this was shot in 60 frames or 120 frames a second. So what I wanted to do here was towards the tail end of the shot, have it speed ramp up into 24 frames per second of this shot here of Charlie silhouetted and it almost gives this double ramp pacing because at the tail end of this one we speed ramp seeing the bird's wings start to flap a little faster here it looks like back in normal speed and then it ramps again into a reverse shot of the birds moving backwards So all of this just plays with time before the beat drop happens, before we see these dolphins. And it really feels like you're increasing the pacing. That way when the beat does come in, it adds a whole nother layer of kinetic energy. So specifically what I like to do is go right click, show clip keyframes, go to time remapping, select speed. Now for this shot, we started at 100% which was uh, 60 frames a second, and we speed ramp all the way up to 285%. So what I like to do is just drag up and down and kind of play and within the playback, see how fast feels natural. Once I start to crank over 300%, the flapping of the birds almost seems too fake. So what I like to do is keep it under 300% and uh, leave you can play with the different pacing to see if you want it to be shorter or longer, spread it out. Um, I found here what I like to do is go to either the song lyrics or the beat where it has the double kick drum. It goes one, two, so then I do the speed ramp on the one, two, and then it goes into the coming up for air. Now what's neat about this new time remapping feature, other than having to nest, or if you're wondering why you would need to nest, um, previously, right now I'm editing in a 4096 by 2160 timeline. Um, some of this footage is shot on the 1DX, which is native 4096 2160. Some of it is shot on GoPro, like the underwater footage, which is um, in 3840 by 2160. Some of it is shot on the Red Monstro, um, which is in 8K, 60 frames a second. So when you're using a bunch of different frame sizes, previously you would have to right click, nest, and make a nested sequence. That way the footage would match the sequence settings and then you could apply the time remapping. Now with the updated Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, this is an 8K Monstro footage. As you can see, it's at 50% scale, but you could still right click show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed, without having to nest the sequence. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and apply a keyframe, drag it up to say 247 or 250%, and as you can see, it starts to speed up, her walk starts to speed up, and then you can time it to the song, and it really adds this kinetic energy. Now all of this is personal preference. I thoroughly enjoy using time remapping, especially with an EDM song or a song that has a little bit more energy. It's a good way from going from one shot to the next. Another good example here is as Charlie decides to use her jacket to wipe in front of the screen. We go from slow to fast as the beat's about to drop. I 
then we pull backwards coming from her shirt again flapping in the wind but now we're going from fast to slow and all of this helps as a seamless transition from shot to shot Go ahead to play around in your edit, see where it works best, apply the keyframe, see what percentages you really like, but it's an amazing tool to go from one shot to the next, and it's great that Adobe Premiere 2020 allows you to use different types of footage mixed together without necessarily having to nest in order to do up to 20,000% time remapping. So another amazing tool, even though we didn't use it in this edit, is if you had a long shot and you wanted to just hit record and essentially do a time lapse, you no longer have to take photos. You could just say record for 15, 20 minutes on your camera. If it allows you to, go ahead, hit Command J, type in a speed of 20,000, or again, right click, keyframes, time remapping speed, and increase it to make a, a time lapse within your edit. So um, it's a pretty versatile tool. It's something that I really enjoyed using within this edit um, titled Isle of Gods. Um, this did have an EDM track, so using the time remapping to go between the different footage really helped to emphasize the story and add an energy to the edit. So I hope this is helpful. Go ahead and leave a comment if there's any other types of tutorials you'd like to see made. And um, I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Thank you for watching.